as uh, promised. Remember, the company has expanded its range in direct thermal printable products. That's a new product that they've come out with. Uh, we have with us Mr. Pankaj Podar, uh, the CEO of the company who joins us. Hi, Pankaj. Always good to see you. When, uh, if you could give us some details. You know, your stock is high in today's trading session. Clearly, the street is expecting something via this new product. So what exactly is the opportunity here in terms of revenues? And also, if you could give us some clarity, is it a high, high margin business? Is it more or less in line with the margins that you have been doing? Some clarity in terms of this product? Yeah. Uh, good morning to all the viewers. Um, see, basically, we have come out with three, four different products, both in the paper and the film. Right. Uh, the viewers will normally be able to recognize the point of sale invoices that they get. Hmm. Uh, either on the ATM machines on uh, in the restaurants also, where they find that, you know, typically the ink on the paper fades away fairly quickly. So we have come out with a paper, you know, so there was a high quality paper demand in India where the ink can stay for a longer period. Right. So we have come out with a direct thermal printable paper where the ink can stay. Now we've also for the first time in India come out with a top coated paper, which is uh, water, oil and chemical resistant. Uh, and therefore right. that's an innovation for the Indian market. Right. We have uh, come out with a similar concept on the film side also, which is a top-coated and non-top-coated version. And they have applications in invoicing, packaging, label, lamination, and a lot of different right. other applications. Pankaj, uh, it's a great product. We know it as consumers. But uh, what exactly could the revenue potential of this product for you be? And what does it do to your margins? FY17 margins were just about 10%. Yes, yeah, the margins on this product, uh, especially on the film side and the top-coated paper, should be higher. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be quite high because globally it's sold at a very high price. Uh, at the same time, you know, revenue, it will take us some time to educate the market, especially on the high quality paper. Mm -hmm. So it will be very difficult for me to put up a number to it, but I can certainly tell you that the margin-wise, it should be a good margin product for us. All right, uh, Pangaj, you know, in the past, we know that the long-term objective of the company is really to be a, a billion dollars in terms of uh, revenues going ahead. So that's, uh, you know, I think it's in the next five years. You'll also be having some internal targets. FY18, what kind of a revenue growth are you looking, like, looking at, um, if you're looking at a revenue growth, or are you all focusing on the profitability? Just to give us a sense about uh, what can Cosmo Films uh, do. For the coming fiscal. Remember, you'll have been big outperformers in terms of a share price move. I think in the last couple of years, the stock has more than doubled. Yeah. So, see, our basic, obviously, objective is to have a better profitability, and that is the reason that our focus has been uh, growing our specialty films. Our specialty films grew by more than 20% last year, and the first growth, the quarter growth, is again going phenomenally well. Uh, so, our objective is continuously develop new products and market them very nicely, educate the customer about it. So a clear target is to improve our profitability over, uh, you know, the sales numbers. But even sales-wise, you know, if you have profitable growth, then growth has to come, and therefore, uh, growth is also our uh, criteria. And I think this year we should be able to grow anywhere between 25 to 30 percent. 25 to 30 percent. All right, Pankaj. Thanks a lot for joining in and giving us all those details. But to the market clearly.